Hi guys, welcome. In today's video, I am going to show you how to make a realistic looking edible satin bow. Okay, to make this pink ballerina bow, I will uh, get some pink fondant and I will add a good amount of gum text so that it retains its shape. The thing about the pink fondant is that when uh, you use it as gum paste and you let it dry for a few days, it tends to lose the intensity of the color. So I always go a few shades darker than what I want it to end up as so that when it loses the color, it's not too light. I made a good amount of the same color. I'm going to save a part of it for the ends of the ribbon that I'm gonna make at the end to hang over the cake. So save that, you want it to be the same color. All right, I prepared my ribbon cutter with three inches separation. So that's how wide and tall my ribbon is going to be. So I am going to just make sure that I roll it wide enough. The thing about this is that you want to work fast. I have a piece of toilet paper roll and I am going to use that to shape my ribbon around it. So I also have my gum here, my sorry, my glue ready and I will also use that. and I'm going to let it dry as much as you can. I am going to give it a few days. I have enough time to do that. So put it to the side. I will lie in wait. Okay, so my bow has, ha, ha, my bow, I'm gonna start over. Take two. My bow has had enough time to dry, so it's pretty hard now. So now I'm going to make the ends of the ribbon. And for that, I, take the piece of styrofoam because this cake is going to be really tall. So I am going to make the bow, the other pieces of ribbon hang like this and let them dry. Normally, if I wasn't painting this bow with a satin sheen, I would just do this on the cake. But because I want to airbrush it, if I do it on the cake, then it would be a lot of work to cover the actual cake so I don't get the whole thing shimmery. So that's why I did this and I am going to let it dry. I'm going to paint it and then I'm going whole day before I put it on the actual cake. This is it, I'm gonna roll it out, same thickness, I have my ribbon cutter and I am going to show you how to make it look really pretty. My bow is ready to be painted. It's not dry, I just did it. I mean, the bottom part, it's not dry, the top is. If not, it wouldn't be holding its shape. And now I am going to paint it and let it dry. And after that, I am going to add a little pink pearl sheen. I'm gonna paint it all over it. So, but that I will do when it's dry. So here it is, let's airbrush. I will not add too much because this is a white pearl sheen. 
it's just it just says pearl sheen but i will lighten the pink if i add too much so just a very very light dusting that's it now it dries then i dust and then it's ready to be put on a cake okay i have here pink pearl big brush this is already dry enough it is now ready and now i will just let it dry overnight and then it can be put on any cake obviously a six inch round cake Whatever cake you decide to put it on, make sure you know ahead of time so you can make it according to the size. This is the next step. The bow has been drying for a few days. So now I was able to glue it onto the cake with some royal icing. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make an edible, realistic looking satin bow. A satin a realistic, an edible, realistic, a edible sat, a satin, edible, realistic looking bow. I don't know. It's great. It looks like it's made out of ribbon, out of satin ribbon, not out of fondant, but um, that's it. So I hope you guys give it a try. I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you like my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. In the next video, I am going to show you how to make the butterflies so that we continue putting together the big, tall, fancy cake. Bye.